it's happening. I'm going blonde. I totally understand if you feel emotionally connected to my hair journey. I completely understand the nature of YouTube, or at least the nature of YouTube as it used to be, was that you were right there with me when it was happening, when I was losing my hair, when it was damaged, when I had breakage, which was because of professional treatments. <laughs> so frustrating, but there was bleach overlap. I had a bizarre mullet and I had white blonde hair. And since then, I stopped colouring it all together and I grew it out and you've complimented me so much. It's been so lovely. My self-esteem went from like rock bottom to like an all-time high purely because of my hair. It really can massively, massively impact the way that I feel about my appearance and by extension myself, um, just my hair. And I have really been <laughs> through all of the emotions. So I completely understand when people feel that they need to warn me and tell me how terrible it is when I'm thinking of cutting it or I'm thinking of dyeing it, I'm thinking of bleaching it, I'm thinking of changing it anyway. I completely understand. I've taken you on the journey with me and it would be ridiculous to think that you wouldn't feel connected. Um, but at the same time, there's like two schools of thought. There's two kinds of personalities in this. There's the people that like me change their living room around every two weeks because we're stuck at home and we're craving change and then there's the people who um place their furniture when they moved in and never even considered moving the sofa to a completely different area of the room um it's just a, a completely different kind of personality and so those people can never understand why you would even want to change something that you like and that is nice because they don't have that impetus to to want to change um, I have waited a really, really long time. I've been growing out my hair for a really long time. I think it's five years now since I was blonde. Um, last year, around this time, I had a little tiny bit of balayage and at Christmas I had a little tiny bit more. Minor, minor, minor. Almost all of this colour is my natural colour. It's just the very small amounts of kind of lightness you can see in it. We had some streaks of, of balayage. Um, my hair also has this real weird strange thing where it comes out of my head ash and gets warmer. So when my hair was totally, completely virgin hair, I was saying to my hairdresser, how crazy is this? You would think it was a line of demarcation from some kind of previous colour um, because it got to kind of about there and it was quite an ashy, cool toned brown. And then from there down, it was really warm. So a really strange kind of hair anyway, but the majority the, the majority of this is my own natural colour. And that's been really valuable to me, to be able to say this is my natural hair colour for the first time in my life. I started dyeing my hair when I was 11. So it's been uh, too valuable, is what I've decided. Um, I used to say to people, having long, healthy, natural hair is kind of like having a really expensive handbag. You're constantly worried about what might happen to it. And if you are always cutting it and always playing with it, you're not as attached to it. Like if something goes wrong, it's like, ah, I'll do something else, it's no big deal. Whereas the longer you go, the more nervous you are and the more scared you are that you're going to ruin it. And so that's really what's put me off. In the last kind of two years, I would say, whenever I've had that itch to change it, I've been like, mm, but I grew it out. And what if I hate it? And what if I wanna go back to what I had? And I have to tell you sitting here, I still have all of those niggles but I am ready for a change. I'm super ready for a change. I was thinking of cutting it because it's getting so tangly. Um, I was thinking maybe I'm gonna cut it to like here. I think this is a nice length for me. Before I cut it, and that's not a done deal, but before I cut it, I thought, why wouldn't I just try something crazy? Why wouldn't I go blonde? Worst case scenario, I hate it. I'm gonna cut it anyway. And then I'm like this much closer to just kind of getting back to where I was. I'm kind of starting over a, a chunk anyway. So this is my this is my thinking. This is my logic in my mind. Um, I can't change anything else in my life right now. Everything feels very stagnant. Everything feels very, um, you feel trapped. You feel stuck. You wanna change something. And I can change this. I have control over my hair, believe it or not. And I'm going blonde because I can. That's literally the reason that this is happening. Um, and I'm very comfortable with my hairdresser. She has been very cautious the last two times that I've been to her. I was like, no, we're going blonder. The last time I was like, I'm ready. Christmas time, I was like, we're gonna do this. I want some amount of darkness, but I wanna go blonde. And this is what I ended up with. And you may have seen that video. Lots of people commented to say I was obviously disappointed because I was expecting a bigger change. And I was, 
But I was also very thankful, very grateful that I found a hairdresser who understands how important my hair is to me now and she understands the journey that I've been on to get there. I just, I just want a change and so hopefully that is what we're going to see today. Um, I'm also taking Ella which is really exciting. She's going to be 15 next month and I said for her birthday I would take her for her first like big hair appointment um, and she's going to go very blonde too so if she allows me to I'm going to share a before and after of her as well. But without further ado uh, I should be getting to the hairdressers very very soon um, and when I come back I'm going to share what I can of, of the actual process but when I come back I'm going to feel like a whole new woman. Okay. Wish me luck. It's like almost eight o'clock now, so it's dark, but I wanted to show you um, how it ended up. It's not that blonde. It's not that blonde. It's more of a blonde. Um, I showed her a million different pictures and they ranged from quite dark to quite blonde. And the most important things were like, I wanted it to be very blended. I didn't want a high contrast. I didn't want that kind of like stripy balayage. Um, I just wanted it to look very soft and it to grow out really nicely. So effectively what she's done is lay down a base of a very dark blonde, well not a very dark blonde, but just a dark blonde. Um, and the blend is insane. So it just looks really natural to me. Um, I really like all the root, everything. It's not gonna look kind of crazy at all. It's also lighter underneath um, because it was already lighter underneath. Uh, but before I left, Obviously I had the mask on so you couldn't really tell, I couldn't see what it was really going to look like. Before I left she said she probably wants me to come back in the next couple of weeks to have some lighter pieces put in. Um, I did have lighter sections here before and now everything's kind of just like blended all together. It's just a really nice base blonde. So I potentially would have some lighter pieces just to kind of brighten it up. But I do really like it. It isn't what I expected it to be. It isn't the blonde that I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to go kind of brighter quicker um and i think she was again probably cautious which i completely understand and she did also use a very very gentle lightener on me it's something called um one plus two so it's basically the regular kind of bleaching powder but a different kind of developer that's a lot more gentle um so my hair still feels really really soft it's still kind of got that shine and i really appreciate that uh, but i've overall been lightened several levels and it, it does make quite a big difference to me but it's not quite the massive transformation that I thought it was going to be. So I thought I would share kind of what it looks like right now. I'll potentially have more done to it in the next kind of month or so. Um, but for right now, I really do like it. it I mean, you know, I, I initially, while it was kind of being toned, I was thinking this is not going to be as blonde as I want it to be. But once she'd toned it and once she'd blow dried it, I loved it. It was, it's kind of that, um, Jess, not Jessica, Jennifer Aniston kind of blonde that I always used to want to be. Uh, I feel like if I fake tan, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of blend a little bit more with it, but I have to live with it now and see whether or not I actually want the brighter pieces, whether or not I want more or less or none at all, we'll see. Um, but I wanted to kind of come back in and kind of throw this together quickly to show you how it ended up um, for those of you that would want to know. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. I want to change now